Hey, welcome to the Guaranteed Retirement Guy Show. So today I wanna to talk to you about index growth. Okay, so when you're looking at an annuity for index growth, there's a lot of index annuities to choose from. And so typically we wanna look for indexes that are high performing, that have been around for a while, and we look at indexes that hopefully have uh, very high caps, meaning you know they cap your growth. So if the cap is like eight, nine, or ten percent, and that's a decent range. But again, if they don't have a cap, then we also want to see do they have a spread? Because if the market is making ten percent and the spread is two percent, then you know you're going to make eight percent. And if the market's making fifteen percent and the spread is two percent, you know you're going to make thirteen. Some indexes don't have caps at all, so it just depends. Um, then there are indexes that where they have high participation rates, meaning that lets you participate in the entire index or just a portion of the index. So it just depends on the percentage of the index that they allow you to participate in. So let's take a look at that. I wanted to pull this up and show you uh, what I'm looking at. And so when I pulled up just fixed index, just indexes, what they're doing, what the data looks like, you can see what they're looking at. I mean, year to date, it's gigantic. I mean, NASDAQ's 36%, right? One year, 34, but let's go back. Three years, 8%, five years, 15%, 10 years, 16%. And then uh, and then 2021, it's showing was, was huge. 2022 was terrible. So, but again, remember when you purchase an index annuity, you do not participate in those losses. Okay, so during 2022, when the index went down almost you know, 33%, your account just didn't make anything. It didn't It didn't lose anything, but it didn't make anything either. So it, it was just a zero for that year. That's way better than losing, like like people you know that were in the raw stock market. And then of course, later on when it starts growing, uh, like this year, 2023, you, you've been able to just, you're stacking on top of your, on top of your growth. You might've got growth up to 2022. And then 22 was a no growth year, but no losses. And then you started growing again this year. That's how beautiful index annuities work. Um, okay, so you can kind of see if we scroll down, you see S and P, the percentages they're making. It's not bad, um, so they're pretty good. Um, let's look into this further. So what I did is I pulled up some more index annuities and I looked at ten-year performance, and it's showing me again around the same percentages. And then you'll see there are some there are some fees if you choose to pay them. There are some indexes that will charge you a fee and some that don't. And then there's an income rider fee, and that's only if you want guaranteed income. If you don't want that, you don't have to pay it. But these ones have different participation rates. This one is 59%, which means if the index does 20%, let's say, you know you're only going to get like 12%. Okay, so that's kind of how that one works. And so this one's 59, 52, just seeing if any of these par rates are higher. There are par rates that are higher, but I'm not seeing it in this one per se. But there are, there are plenty that, uh, that are in the 100% range. And so, and we can look at those if if uh, if you want to chat about that. But that's what we look at when we look at uh, growth for indexes and for annuities. You have to think about what is your goal. Is your goal growth? Just growth? Like if you want growth, then we're going to look at index annuities that ha- that give you the highest growth possible. They still protect you against market loss. And then you know if you're looking to just leave that money behind to your family, then that's what you that then a growth annuity would be perfect. Uh, if you're looking for income, then typically these these growth annuities are not great for income. Typically, the 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 income riders uh, associated with with in with uh, index annuities um, as an add-on those tend to work the best for income. So what we would do is we would uh, put together an annuity, and then we would have an income rider on top of it. Okay, it would be attached to it that would give you income. You don't have to have. I mean, I'll just show you real quick. You don't have to have that um, income rider. You don't have to pay that fee if you don't want to. And I'll show, I'll give you an example. If I was to go in here and just look at the um, at at the uh, guaranteed income um, from paying a I don't know probably a one percent fee. Let's let's look here real quick. So two hundred thousand dollars. I'm just going to do a single payout. Let's say sixty years old, and let's say I want to wait five years. Okay, I'm going to retire at at sixty five because that's when I'm going to take my Medicare and and Social Security. So we look at that and say, all right, $200,000. I'm going to get $30,000 from Social Security. 
and maybe I got a pension that's giving me another 20,000. So I got 50,000 coming in total. And then I've got this annuity that's going to pay me additional income. And we want an annuity that's going to pay us a level payout for the rest of our life, never goes down. And you can see the highest ones right there. And they're charging around a 1% for that. So, and these are not for growth. They're, they're really not. They're for income. And so I'm trading $200,000 for, I don't know, let's say 30 years of $21,000. So I'm basically trading 200 grand for $600,000 in income. So you have to ask yourself before you invest in annuity, are you doing it for growth or are you doing it for income? There are different annuities that work better for each. And some of them kind of have a good hybrid, like a theme. You'll see a theme here is at the top. And Athene has a pretty decent index and pretty decent participation rate in the index. So I do like that. So if you're kind of look, looking for maybe a hybrid approach, maybe you want some index growth, but you also want like a high amount of income, then right now Athene is looking pretty darn good. So right now, if you look at, and I'm just going to go down to the hypotheticals because they're showing you um, based off of, let's see, based off of a participation rate of 100%. So they're giving you 100% of the UBS index, okay? So based off of that, they're saying you're going to earn this, which these are all, a lot of them are double digits, which is kind of big. Um, and you'll notice if it earns that, your account balance actually will grow during this time period, which that kind of makes me nervous to illustrate that to people because, boy, you can't you can't promise that. And, and you know, at that point, you're just trying to sell an annuity to someone. So what I would do is, Yes, if I was to invest into this annuity and I want a growth and income, this is the annuity I would do. And also this is the index I would put it in for sure. But if I wanted to actually see maybe more conservative illustrations, then what I would do is I'd go in here to at least illustrate something kind of like a more conservative or worst case scenario. So I go in here and say, all right, well, let's say it only averages 6.84. I'm just, just for illustration purposes, I'd still put my money in the highest in the highest index. And you can see there's a lot of different indexes with different participation rates here, okay? Some of them are as high as 140%. I would definitely put my money there. And you've got two-year indexes that have decent participation rates. I put my money there too because you've got some decent growth rates. But for illustration purposes, let's just go real quick and we'll just see what, what this would do on average, you know, maybe on a more conservative note from the index. Okay. So go down to the uh, hypothetical. So that's a little bit better. You can see over time, if you get these rates of return, and some of them are still kind of big. I mean, come on, 22%, maybe. Um, but some of these are kind of low though, three, 4%, that's kind of low. So it might even itself out. But you'll notice here that if I get okay rates of growth, then my account balance just goes down a lot slower. So what that, what, what that would look like is by the time I'm 89 years old, I've already taken out $527,000 in income, and uh, I've got $40,000 left in the account. If it's experienced more growth, like you saw in the other scenario, then there's plenty of money in the account. Just keep in mind, this money is yours. So if you surrender the policy, you can take the money. If you decide, you know, if you pass away, your kids or your family or whoever your beneficiary is, they will get that money as well. So that money does not stay with the insurance company. So that's always good to know uh, on these. So Let's just, I mean, let's have a chat. If you want to talk, if you want to book a call with me, we'll go over the top performing indexes. We'll look at the top performing annuities. If, if you're looking for growth, there are some really, really good companies out there. Like Midland National has an annuity right now that's great, great for growth, great for legacy, and it has some very decent projections for guaranteed income if that index does well. If you're looking for more guarantees, we can look at some guaranteed income payouts that come from the highest paying annuities out there for that. So we can look at both. But anyways, if that's something you're looking for, let me know. Book a call. You'll see a link down below this video. And uh, and once we get on the call, we'll go over some numbers, look at what your goals are. And I'm not going to try to sell you anything. I'll just be helpful and answer your questions. And, and of course, if you need help and if you want to uh, submit an application, of course, I can help you with that. So otherwise... Thanks for watching the video. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.